Okay, we got a Dell Inspiron 6000. It's got an overheating problem. You can feel a lot of heat building up in this part of the laptop here where the cooling fan and the heat sink are located. So what, what I'm going to do is take the cooling fan out of the laptop and give it a quick clean. So as always, the first thing to do is remove the battery. And next thing we got to do is remove the hinge cover. So if you can open the screen as, as far as it can go, get a plastic pry tool and just in under gently prise this up and set that aside. Okay, next we're going to remove the keyboard. There's two screws securing the keyboard here and here. I'm just going to go ahead and take those out. So I can lift the keyboard up gently now. Just be careful when you're doing this because there's still a ribbon attached to the keyboard. And this can just be pulled straight up by using the blue ribbon. Set that aside. Okay, next up we've got to remove the display assembly. Um, there's two screws on each side securing the display to the to the base one two one two um, we got to disconnect the display ribbon which is here and there's a little, it's a little screw here which which secures the ribbon in position and we got to release the the Wi-Fi antenna cables so I'm going to start with the Wi-Fi antenna um, one two They can just come out. There we go. Let those hang loose. And release this. I'm just going to pull up the display ribbon, grab the, the blue label, and just pull it straight up. So can I. Take the ribbon out of the channel. That's it. So now we're ready to take the screws out. So I can set that. Push the screen back as far as it goes. Remove the screws. Now, okay, we can lift the display assembly clear of the laptop. Set it that side. Okay, um, I'm just going to pop the hard drive out of the, the base. So there's two screws securing the hard drive. One, two. And the hard drive just slides out. I also want to remove the optical drive. One screw here in the middle, securing that in position. Remove that. And just prise it out gently. So now we're going to Remove 13 screws from the bottom of the, the base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those out. Okay, next we gotta turn the laptop over. 
and we've got two screws on the top side which secure the, the pan rest in position. I'm just going to remove those. And this one here. Also we got to remove the, the touch pad ribbon. Let's see, just pull that straight up. Okay, and we should be good to start trying to prise the the palm rest away from the base. So just going in with a plastic tool and prising it apart bit by bit. Just be careful. See the the cooling fan assembly in here. And there's quite a bit of dust around it. Okay, what we're gonna do now is just remove the, the power cable from the motherboard. And there are two screws holding the, the cooling fan in position. So one here and one here. Just gonna take those out. The, the cooling fan clear. As you can see in there, there's quite a bit of fluff and dust has, has built up um, on this side of the heat sink, so that's preventing the, the hot air from escaping and making the laptop overheat. What I'm going to do is I have a hoover here on the desk, I'm just going to hoover that out. Give it a bit of a scrape as well because it's, it's actually quite badly molded and quite clean. Bring the Hoover back in again. Fit the cooling fan. Let's stick it in get it lined up. Two screws. And don't forget to put the power connector back in. Go with the top cover. We can just clip it back into position. Okay, so once we have that clip back down, we can start putting the two screws from the top. This one here first. Screw it in. And this one over here. And push the, the touch pad ribbon back down into position, secure it. And turn it over to the base. And we need to put our 13 screws back into position.
Okay, now we can refit the display assembly. Right, so. Sit it back in like that. Two screws on each side to screw it in position. Same over here. Now what we need to do is feed the Wi-Fi antenna cables back through their channel, clip them back onto the the Wi-Fi board here. Uh, we need to feed the uh, the video ribbon through its channel and clip it back in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Push the ribbon firmly back down into position. I'll screw the little earth connection down as well. Just make sure it's all in tidy. Okay, now we're going to do the Wi Fi cables. Let's clip them down under the little notches that keep them in place. Okay, now we're ready to clip them down onto the, onto the Wi Fi board. And you can see one of them has a white triangle. So that's the one that the white cable goes on, on to. Just push it down. And the other one is the black one. Awkward, but there we go. It's down in place. Now we got to do the keyboard. So try and get the ribbon in first. Clip it in at the back first, push down and slide it back into position. Now we're going to put in the two screws that secure the keyboard over here. One and two. Now we can clip the hinge cover back into position. Push it 
should firm it into position. It should clip in. Yep. Now we can put the, the hard drive back in. Just slides in. Two screws that secure it. Optical drive can slide back in as well. I've got one screw that secures it. Just needs the battery. There we go. That's us. Completely reassembled. Dial Instrument 6000.